Today's video will be a little bit different than normal because there won't be any reptiles in it. Oh, except for this one. Oh, and, and this one. Uh, but the rest will all be amphibians! <laughs> Today we are going to be feeding quite a few of our amphibians. We're planning on feeding our American toads, the tiger salamanders, a pixie frog, our pac-man frog or South American horned frog, and our eastern gray tree frog. We will not be feeding our larval salamander or our Amazon milk frogs because they're kind of tough to feed by tongs, so we're just going to feed the ones that are more willing to eat in front of a camera today. On the menu is a variety of different invertebrates. We're going to be feeding earthworms and dubia roaches roaches, crickets, chicken hearts, and even a couple of pinky mice. Since they are so entertaining to feed, we're going to start with our American toads. I'm ready for food now, yes. please. Here you go. The trick with toads is to touch their front feet. There you go. Get it. Get it. Oh, you have terrible aim. Here, try again. Not the tweezers. There oh, you go. It's like spaghetti. Can turn around. I love how they use their front feet to push it in their mouth. There you go. Oh, tasty. Here, little dude. The smaller toad is one of our newer ones. There you go. Get it. Nice. nice. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Run away, little dude. Don't eat him. <laughs> Toads aren't smart, is what we've learned. Oh, well, I was going to flip that over to feed him, but she ate it. Another trick is to, when you're feeding dubia roaches, flip them upside down, and then they wiggle around a bit, which catches the attention of the toad, but they can't run away because they're on their back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here she comes. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I think he is done. Yeah. Apparently he only wants one today. I think she'll still eat though. <laughs> Wonder if she'll eat a piece of chicken heart. I'm a little, oh, I'm a roach. Oh, there we go. And it's gone. <laughs> Next, we're going to do the salamanders. We have three tiger salamanders, all of which we're going to feed today because they have huge appetites. First is Thomas, our salamander that regrew his front left leg. That's why it's a little bit smaller than it originally was. Second, we have Window Well, who's our little female tiger salamander. We've had her for quite a while too, and she's been excellent for programs. And finally, we have Houdini, who is the newest addition to our family as far as salamanders go, and we've had him for probably about two years now. He was sent up to us by a fan who raised him from a little tadpole. We actually have a whole unboxing video about Houdini because he escaped the box and we couldn't find him for about two weeks until we found him in just the weirdest spot in our house. So if you want to watch his unboxing and discovery video where we found him, you can watch that right here. Here are the three tiger salamanders. They don't interact with one another because of how big their appetites are and we actually do house them separately too. So we're going to see how this works today. These guys have such a big appetite that they'll try to eat our fingers. I'm gonna try to feed them some earthworms. We're gonna finish off these three salamanders with a piece of chicken heart each. Here, Houdini. Do you like some chicken heart? No, nope. he's full. Thomas, do you want a piece? Always. Window well. Oh, here he comes. Oh, 
All right, I think the salamanders have been successfully filled up with food. Next, let's do the eastern gray tree frog. This is our eastern gray tree frog, and he was given to us by a fan who lives in Wisconsin, along with our Amazon milk frogs. We picked him up the same time we picked up the anaconda and the black-headed python. You can watch their whole pickup video right here. And it turns out he's really good at eating crickets, even from the tongues, unlike the Amazon milk frogs. So he's up next. Well, now we are going to put him back and move on to the last two frogs for today, which would be the Pac-Man or South American Horned Frog and the Pixie Frog. We have both of them out on the counter facing away from each other, so they're less likely to try to eat each other, but one of them looks kind of funny, so let me explain why. The Pixie Frog is nice and chunky, as he should be. Oh, you're so fat, Hypno. And the one over here, the uh, Horned Frog, if you look close, you'll kind of see as she gets upset, she kind of spins in circles and she arcs her back quite a bit. Like, I don't know, she just looks odd to the to the naked eye and that's because of her spinal issue. And then there's Hypno here, who's trying to eat the entire Critter Keeper. He's like, those crickets look tasty. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> you can't eat the Critter Keeper, Hypno. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you can't, you can't eat that, okay? <laughs> here, instead, Hypno, I have a tasty dubia roach for you. I didn't even ask if you wanted to eat it yet. Oh, put your, oh, okay. She also has terrible aim. There you go. A lot of keepers of big frogs like these, pixie frogs will feed mice from time to time. It's not like a complete diet because they are kind of fatty. So we do try to mix up their diet with insects and things like that too. But just for a special treat today, we're going to feed the pixie a fuzzy and the horned frog a pinky. I'm a little mouse. Oh, oh no! You can eat it! Oh. Does it help to like wiggle them at all? Mm. And now, let's feed hip. Nope, let's not look over there. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so scary. Yeah, it is. I'm so glad that wasn't my finger. <laughs> Just... They got the little bit of the tail. Oh, never mind, it's gone. And there you have it, several of our amphibians enjoying nice big meals from tongs. This guy was probably the most impressive, eating that mouse. You have such a big appetite. Yes, you do. Thank you to all of our Patreon backers for supporting this channel and to everyone donating your time just by watching our videos. We're always looking for new groups of our animals to feed for you guys on camera, especially in these bonus Sunday videos. So if you have any suggestions like feed your hog noses or feed this group of snakes, let us know in the comments below and maybe we'll do your idea next. Thank you again, everybody, and we'll see you next time.